Wedged between Hong Kong's towering skyscrapers are low-rise older buildings. The decorative columns, verandas and window arches stand out against the city's modern skyline. These are 19th century tenement buildings or Tong Laos. Today, many are in a state of disrepair. So they're often the first to go under the government's redevelopment plans, especially since the latest policy address proposed making it easier to sell old buildings by lowering the compulsory sale threshold from 80 to 60 percent. If this type of building uh, disappear without uh, any effort of conservation, then uh, it's like Hong Kong is losing some uh, weaknesses of the history. Old buildings are graded according to their historical value, but not every Tong Lao makes the cut. So Mr. Ho spends his free time documenting those off the radar to draw attention to the heritage. His efforts are not always welcomed. Usually, the last generation look at this building from at the point of view of uh, economical value. That means they would like to sell this building to have a large lot of money and then do something else. Changes are already afoot in Yamate and Mong Kok to revitalize the districts and to cater to the city's growing housing needs. The project comprises over 3,000 buildings. 47% are more than 50 years old and in poor condition. They could be demolished for not meeting structural safety. The Tong Laos in the mix may not be spared. The Urban Renewal Authority said it's done a heritage impact assessment on specific historical buildings. Others may be reviewed, but preservation isn't a guarantee. One NGO hopes to show that these buildings can still serve a purpose if revitalized. Yet, it's not such a straightforward process. 通常我們真是做這些保育的project,尤其是唐樓,我們都會建議做一份比較全面的我們叫評估的報告,那份報告我們叫做Conservation Management Plan,就是首先了解唐樓的特色是哪裡,它的價值,我們才會去做一些設計上的決定,就不會做錯。Like this 80-year-old Chinese medicine hall in Kowloon City, that's given a new lease of life as a cafe. So what I had in mind was I had to be very sensitive of the past, of the old items, but also courageous enough to keep them clean and to bring it to the future. That meant navigating structural maintenance issues and licensing requirements, while retaining the original signboard and old certificates. Every location has its, has its history, um, every community has its culture. Um, it's important to remember that if you can exercise your power to keep or extend the heritage um, or the collective memories of the residents nearby, by all means try to do that. It's one way to balance development and preservation.